Okay. Okay. Gotta fix the lighting, because that matters. I just closed the window to reduce noise. Um, I'm so excited to do this video. It was, it's Tuesday today. It was supposed to be done on Monday, but um, no one was home to pick this baby up um, because the seller, I got this on eBay. The seller um, made it so that it needs a signature confirmation. So I signed for it at the post office. I asked my boss to leave at 3.45, got on the train. Oh my God, got off the train in um, Queens at 4.45, ran to the post office and got it two minutes before the post office closed. Yes guys, this is my life. And you guys are lucky enough to witness it. Let's open it up. I'm so scared. Oh my god. This is an unboxing. Now I get the point of these unboxings. <laughs> okay. Without further ado. Oh, please. If you guys are a real OG subscriber. Oh, airplane. That's what. If you are a real OG subscriber, airplanes. Are the enemy. I'm gonna take it out. Oh, if you're an OG subscriber, comment down below um, to say what you think this is. I'm expecting like two comments, <laughs> and one is probably my best friend, but she never comments or likes, so like, what the hell, Trey? Get on it. Here we are. It is from the Louis Vuitton, and oh my god! Oh my god! She's beautiful, if she's real. Um, it is a lot softer than I thought. She said she only wore it once, so I'm not that happy about that, but you know, can't complain. Okay. Oh my God, thank God. I was so nervous. Cause, um, okay, wait, I'm just gonna show you the back and then talk, okay. So here she is. Asterisk if she's real. Okay, so it does look pretty legit. I am gonna say so myself. Okay. I'm just inspecting. It does have that smell like it's been in the closet for a while. But you know, this bag is so hard to get, you really can't complain. I have no idea how to put this on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I should have done more research. I thought I did enough research on this. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is going on? I'm so sorry, guys. And I really wanted to film this um, just in case um, my dad comes home because um, he likes to watch TV and stuff and it really messes with the audio you know audio is very important as I have found out <laughs> through trial and error okay I'm just guessing how this works I should have like figured this out oh I think one is for adjusting like if you want it top handled I have no idea I still want this to be a unboxing first impressions. Okay guys, retarded me had to Google a picture of it. And we're basically gonna try to figure out how the straps go on. I really thought like she would give it to me in one go, you know? Okay, so uh, you get two long ones. Uh, Trey just texted me back. I sent her a picture of it. So you get two long ones and two short ones. So the short ones, go on the bottom. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, we're on the last one. And done. Oh my god, here she is. The baby. What do you think? She's so cute. Oh my god. 
So I traded my Alma for this bag. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, yeah! Yeah. I'm so happy I got this. Oh my god. Okay, the rest of the video is just gonna be me here. <laughs> okay, so. I've calmed down a little bit where I can talk to you guys. So, just like how I told you how hard it was for me to get this from the post office. Um, okay, just so you know, my life is as difficult as it can get. So, you're going to see that. I've come to terms with it, but you're going to see that um, as I continue to make videos about my life. But, so... Um, just like how it was hard for me to get it from the post office, it was actually, like, not supposed to be mine on eBay. So, I guess this bag reveal unboxing comes with a story. A story time, shall I say? <laughs> so, the story behind um, this becoming mine is that... Um, I actually saw this on eBay. It was probably one of the best deals. Um, I'm weary of this being at a low price because this is in such high demand right now. Like, it's going on Fashion File for 2.2K. So to see it um, anywhere less than that on eBay, like by a lot, is kind of, you know, bring some flags. What's that saying? I don't know, red flags. But, um, so I think I saw it for 1900 And there were 80 bids on this. And I had saw it a couple days before um, the bid listing was going to end. So I watched it. And I really wasn't supposed to be getting this back anytime soon. Um, just because it's a lot of money. Um, I just got my Neverfull. Never full. Um, so yeah, I, I didn't really think I needed a new bag. Plus, I wanted this for summer, um, just because I think it would look cuter with like outfits that show skin, like that kind of vibe. So I thought I would have some time, you know, save up some money and get it. But it was a good deal, and it looked authentic to me. It looked like um, everything checked out. I was comparing all the pictures, um, where the monograms are, how the zippers are, all that stuff, all the little details. Sorry, there's just so many airplanes, so I have to stop in between. So, sorry if this is choppy, but I really want to get this to you guys. ASAP! Um, so yeah, it checked out. Um, I mean, I wasn't 100% on it. Just like buying anything from eBay is not really 100%. to my story time that I was trying to say before. Okay, so I think I was talking about my eBay um, situation, so I guess I'll continue on from there. Sorry if this video is all over the place. I'm really just trying to get it to you ASAP. So, um, yeah, I was watching it, and it was due to expire at 11.41 a.m. Um, on a weekday, so I think it was like Thursday. So, I watched it, and I was... I set an alarm just so I would know like that morning to check it out, keep checking it out um, on my computer at work. So I was doing that and I think it was, it was like about five minutes before and it was still $1,900. So um, I just put in a bid. I actually sent a picture of it to Trey, which I will insert the screenshot now. Um, I was like, do you think I'm crazy? Like, cause I wasn't supposed to get this bag. I was just being a crazy person. So it was 1925 and which was my bid and then there was five seconds left and it was still at price and I didn't see if I had won or lost or not, you know. I guess it depends on how fast your internet is, but I actually lost it and it went to another person for 1950. 
And that really killed me because like the difference between me winning this bag was actually like, I don't know, $50 because I would have to outbid that person. But um, I just let it go and I was like, oh, it's just not meant to be. That's what me like and my best friends always say about buying stuff. Like if it's too hard to get, we just say it's not meant to be. I know, some stupid shit like that, but you know, you gotta make up some excuses for, you know, just the craziness of life. So yeah, I gave it up, I went back to working, you know, whatever, and then I forget the time, so I don't know the time exactly, but I'll insert the email that I got from the seller, and she, it was later that day, and she was basically like, oh, the, the bidder that beat you out is backing out and they don't want to pay, I think. That was what it was, word for word. And she basically sent it to me at a buy it now price. And holy shit, I shat my pants. It was like second offer bid or something. Um, so yeah, I was I sent it to Trey. She always replies to me like really fast. So yeah, and she was like, oh my God. And I was telling her everything and she's like, oh my God. And she, like, she gave me her stamp of, stamp of approval basically and she was like, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. And then um, I didn't reply to her for a while because I was trying to compare pictures of the listing to um, other pictures like on Fashion File and on the website and stuff like that. And then, and then like a couple minutes later, Trey texted me and she was like, did you buy it? And I was like, no, I'm taking my time. Like, it's just for me. And she's like no it's not it's buy it now anyone can buy it and i was like and then i freaking committed to buy click buy it now put in cart you know check out whatever <laughs> and then i actually bought it by accident because i only wanted to commit to buy it and then um and then figure out what, whatever you know like see if I was actually ready to pay for it but then I went through that screen and then committed committed to buying it and then checked out and paid for it with my credit card that only has a limit of a thousand dollars and this is what 1940 told like with $15 shipping so I base I didn't want um, this to get like overturned by the credit card company or whatever so I had to walk my ass over to my bank in the financial district. So I mean, they basically have all the bank branches, but you know what I'm saying? To leave my desk, my cubicle, walk to the bank, basically ask them to raise my limit so I could freaking afford this. I don't recommend doing that guys, um, but you know, I'm financially stable enough to do reckless shit like this, if that makes sense. <laughs> like I'm a salary earning person. Um, I live at home, I don't pay rent, you know, all that bullshit. So I can afford to freaking throw down the money on this. But my justification of buying this was basically, I was going to buy this eventually, like how I said I wanted this for spring and summer this year, and um, it was at a really good price. So to buy it at um, 1940 now is better than buying it later for like 2000 something, if that makes sense. Okay, so I walked over um, to my bank, um, and basically asked them to raise my limit. Um, the lady basically had me on the phone with a representative and she was like, this is going to be a hard check on your, your credit and it might affect your credit, like make it go down. And, um, I was at the end of the day, I was fine with it because I don't need my credit for anything else. I'm not going to buy a car anytime soon or a house, you know, so I can afford for it to go down a couple points, you know, I will recover. I will recover over time. So, um, I asked her a bunch of questions. I was like, oh my God, do you know this? What's the chance of this? Blah, blah, blah. And she was like, sorry, miss. I'm not a credit analyst. So I was like, okay, whatever, because she kept answering with me me with that so I knew she wasn't gonna give me any of it she wasn't gonna give me any info so I went with okay you know do it and she basically said congratulations your $1,000 debit credit card limit is going to be increased by $5,000 and you have a six dollar six thousand dollar credit limit which i don't really care for like i'm not gonna go crazy with it i just wanted to afford this on credit because i didn't really want it on my debit card just in case um i wanted to return this or anything you know it's 
it's not real money leaving me. Um, I'll talk about that if you guys care, like finances and stuff, um, in another video, because this is not that video. Th this is the Palm Springs Backpack video, guys. So yes, I had to get my credit um, bumped up, and then, yes, I paid for it on Thursday. She shipped it out on Friday. I actually asked her to include, um, if she could tell me why she's selling it, where she bought it, and if she can show me a proof of purchase. She told me that she doesn't wear it anymore, and she actually got the push at Matisse um, instead, and wears that a lot. Um, she bought it. I forgot what she said. She bought it online and then she sent me the email confirmation of her buying it. Obviously, not with her personal info, I think. Um, so, the bag checked out except for two things that I am weary of, which I just went over with my best friend Trey. Um, and we have justified that it is a real bag. So, basically, this is the barcode. Um, in the picture, it looked like this, just like how I'm showing you guys now. Um, and I checked my Neverfull and it had like metallic, like um, plastic things in the back like this. And um, she didn't show the back of it. So if this does did not have um, this kind of design in the back, I would be extremely cautious, but because um, it is fine. I think this is like a magnetic strip or something because it has this. My, the one of my two cautious points are okay. And now the second one is that the font of the date code was fair, was a font I've never seen before and I have dealt with a couple of Louis Vuitton pieces, obviously not this exact bag, but it's one I've never seen before, so that raised another red flag. That's the phrase. And the last one is the date code, so I'll insert picture because it's so hard to show you the date code in the actual bag. So, as you guys can see, this is the font, and um, I have been checking Fashion File and Google and everything for this Palm Springs Backpack Mini, the date codes on those bags, and they all come out to fonts that I have seen before, but I have not seen a combination similar to mine because the combination means something. Um, the two letters um, are like meaning for um, the orientation of the bag, and then the first and the third are the week of the year, and then the second and the fourth are the year. So mine is what? Mine is 4136. So it's 2016, 43rd week. Um, short tangent. So that means it was made late 2016. And I asked her when she bought it. And she, she actually bought it after that time. So it makes sense. You know, like the bag is made that date, made that date, and then it's sold later on. So if she had said before, that would have been another red flag. So I've been scouring the internet for a date code in this font, in this gold flake whatever. So when I was on FaceTime with Trey, we were talking about it and she doesn't care, but I was bothering her about it, just dumping my burden on her, you know, what her best friend's for. So I finally found um, one with the same font and it's actually one number different so I'm gonna show you now and it's finally my final peace of mind which is a great way to end this video and I can stop yelling now and here it is do you see okay so it actually ends in a seven mine ends in a six so they're a year apart but yes that is it that is the final okay that I think this bag is real. Okay, I had to pause so I could FaceTime Trey, which you guys obviously have seen. Okay, I'm FaceTiming Trey. Let's see if she picks up. Oh, I'm really hoping she connects so I can like show you guys. <gasps> Yay! 
Okay, so I switched to my other Wi-Fi. Oh wait, you wanna say hi to my video? You're so yellow. I'm ready for the bag. Here it is! It's so oh. cute. Oh. <laughs> you can see my video. Oh my god, it's so hot. Mom. Yeah, put it on. <laughs> put it on for you. <laughs> but I'm small, so it's fine. Actually, yeah, it's actually pretty small. Say bye. Bye. Okay. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will definitely see you in the next one. Please like and subscribe if you did enjoy. I'm gonna say bye now. Bye. Palm Springs, say bye. Bye.